Harley Switchback factory exhaust with Harley cigar muffler and today I'm going to show you how to take the cat converter out of the middle because it ain't odd. Welcome back. Right, first thing, take all the heat shields and the muffler off and just get to the header alone because that's the bit we're going to work on. all we need just that bit there now that's the standard factory header pipe one piece header pipe for a Harley switchback this is a 2012 so it's the very first year of the switchback so they're going to be the same right the way through to the last one just before they finished and the cat converter in this lives in that section there you can actually see you can actually see clearly where they've made this exhaust with that section I'll show, come up close you can see where they've made this with that section there was originally part of that and they've literally chopped that there and there separated it and inserted this bit in between and it's in there that the cat converter lives and that's what I'm going to take out now some people I've seen on the net just use a big uh, horrible wall drill or a masonry drill or even somebody I saw use uh, a wood cutting paddle bit just honestly and then going in there and just tearing big holes in it which is just horrible there's only one way to do it properly is to cut a hole in this and then just pull it all out and then weld the hole back up so let's get the disc cutter and I'll show you where is the best place to put the hole right when it's on the bike it's like that as you look at the side of the bike and I've seen people do this where they cut down inside there because it's on the inside but when you look at your Harley switchback if you look down on top of your exhaust you can see that so no matter what good a job you make of welding that back up you'll always be able to see it why not cut on the outside which is not necessarily logical straight away but of course a heat shield goes over that so you're never going to see that outside so I cut on the outside and actually it's easier for access anyway the converter itself that honeycomb of stuff let me show you this close up hopefully you can see by looking at the end of that honeycomb in there sort of like that there we are that fills the exhaust completely so all the exhaust gases go through this honeycomb of rolled metal so all this is it's it's rolled up like if you imagine corrugated iron rolled up in a tube just rolled and rolled and rolled until it becomes fatter and fatter that's how these things are made there are semi-precious metals in there palladium and whatnot but the amount of scrap palladium in that honestly it's pennies it's not worth it but I'm going to tear all that out now that's all it is it's just a case of ripping all that out and clearing it all away you don't want any any nasty little bits left in there but you can see quite easy that those who choose to put a drill bit in there and just drill through that they're only going to remove that bit at the top they're not going to take all of it out and it is properly packed in there you can see what they do they make this item first by probably rolling this up and then pressing it inside a tube and then they weld that in between here they cut that open and weld it in it's a pretty simple bit of manufacture and it's a pretty simple bit of demanufacture so let's rip that out this is the fun bit
space, nothing in there at all. Quite important to get no debris in there. People who drill it out are leaving loads of debris in there which interrupts gas flow, so you're not really doing much more than just butchering it. That's the proper way to do it. All gone completely. It's kind of bonded to the metal surface in some way, so you just chisel it off. It's absolutely fine. And off the lid. And now all I've got to do is put the lid back on and weld it on. It's as simple as that. There's a couple of things obviously that are important about this. One is that you must remap it now. If you're gonna do that, it's gonna be a lot freer flowing. You do need some back pressure. You've got the choke here, the two into one choke, that's good. But you need a bit more. You need that bike to be remapped so it's running a little bit richer because it's gonna to run too lean on the standard factory map. So if you're gonna do a stage one and you're gonna put a Vance and Hines or a Bassani Road Rage or a Thunder Header or a Pro Pipe like I've got or any of those on your bike, you always would naturally remap it. Well, it's the same for this. If you're going to take the cat out of your factory standard header, you need to remap it to stage one absolutely every time. Then you can put a stage one filter on it and you've got a faster bike. You will release ponies. You really, really will. Now, this didn't cost me anything, but if you can't weld, I'm sure you can get someone to weld it up for you. You can cut it out. You can do all the nasty work of ripping all this out of its nest and then have that ready to weld on take it to somebody who can do some welding so you can just weld that back in for me and grind it back piece of cake perhaps someone at your work can do it or someone in the local garage it's really not difficult and it won't cost you anywhere like the seven or eight hundred pounds that one of those aftermarket exhausts costs you this is a factory system which means you get the factory build quality on it it will last forever and ever and it will definitely flow and it will work well with the bike you know that already and in fact it will flow better because there's nothing in there any longer making a problem. Thanks for watching, ride safe. Mm -hmm.